I'm Bill, middle nowhere, and this is a cheap ass 1200 watt generator. Okay, what we know all about generators mainly that they run gas. This has been taken off like years ago, the gas tank. So that's just four bolts. Okay, the understanding of a gas generator or gas powered shaft driven <laughs> generator is this is the whole generator here this is an engine okay i worked with power generation on the military ship that i was on okay i was on frigates mind you i had 16 cylinder uh, big engines and we were running 850 kilowatt generators now as a stoker or engineer you don't touch the generator side. I'm not an electrician. I'm an engineer, so I know engines. But I don't care for this engine. I only care for, if you look at it, this little bit here that connects to the power. This is like a electrical something. Pretty much the on and off switch, which ultimately is a kill switch. It's just these two plugs here. <clears throat> okay, I'll have to take these off, which is an 8 mil. Okay. Ow. I'm just hoping that camera doesn't fucking fall off that thing. Well, I'm doing this. And it's literally a kill switch that just stops the power to going from one thing to another. Yep. That goes all the way through. You know what? Because I don't really care for the engine, I'm just gonna keep going through with it. This is not a, hey, how to take your engine apart. This is gonna be a, I'll show you what I'm doing and I'm gonna start running this generator. I'm gonna try to get it working off of the gear system where A, I can be running it by me pedal power or i switch it up to because this motor is shot i can get i have another set uh, a lawnmower i can get that sitting up vertically and it'll be vertical shaft driven or you hook this up to a fucking solar panel or sorry wind pa uh, wind turbine vertical or horizontal right now horizontal it's easy you just have a shaft come out here and you mount it up and you could just bolt this down onto your deck if you wanted to and then just flip the switch as long as that thing is keeps spinning at a certain rpm which i don't know what it is so i'll figure out with probably like around 3500 rpm maybe 4000 i don't know so i'm just gonna do some more on this i'll take it apart and i'll show you more okay so i've only taken off a couple di different shields and shit so what you do see right here this is where the spark plug goes to. Okay, that's where it comes from. And there's two little pieces of metal that go over here. This is for when you're magnet, you see this thing turning. This thing was so rusty, like basic cleaning could have done. That probably would have ran. But then they gave it to me. And it's literally this little wire here, which connects in here, and you know, I can see a bit of corrosion, but it still has a lot of connection. Do don't want to break that, just in case I salvage it. But it also goes to this piece. It can go right into here. Right just in there, or is it, yeah, to this one, one of these things. But I'll put it back into the way it's supposed to be. And very simple, I have minor bolts. So it's just taking everything off, and just separating it. Don't worry about oils and that shit because this is a sealed unit. If you had oil, we're gonna get it to get there. That's a horrible design. 
that is only mounted by four bolts. And this is what keeps up the other, the other bolts here to that because the engine is two mounts and that generator is two mounts. So what you're gonna have to do is makeshift some kind of mount setup for the generator because the engine is no longer gonna support the other half. So you can see, I've literally taken everything apart that you need to. There's obviously the bolts that, it's, think of a transmission and an engine. There's your tranny, there's your engine. Engine is an engine, tranny is a generator. The only difference is, one's not going to a gear or whatever, one is just generating power, okay? There's, it's, you're gonna have bolts that mount to it, okay? That being said, there's bolts there, but like any thing that's been wanting to prevent water and that to get into it because of whatnot, whatever. It's got a gasket in it. I needed to use a persuasion tool to get this off. Since this here likes to shake everything, as you see the camera fucking wobble, I have to take it off the kit, off this table, and on the floor, and I got to wail on this fucking thing. But it is also two o'clock in the morning. I don't think I should be doing that tonight. I might just leave it till tomorrow. And remember, if you turn the engine upside down, you're gonna get oil out of it. As I've already gotten oil, and it's clean, clean oil. So whoever had this last was, did do something with it, but I think the main thing was that. So technically I just fucked up a generator, but ultimately, don't care. Gonna work on it more. I want to make a generator that doesn't have to run on gas, that you can run it by yourself, generate anything to power up or convert it to whatever for natural resources. Plus, it's a small thing, it's a working project, something to learn about. So we have a slight issue. I should have uh, waited like I said I was going to, but okay, I'll tell you now, all I did, I just tapped in the middle of that and I split it open, but I didn't realize all the oil was gonna come out. Do this outside somewhere, because I thought that would be a sealed unit from the engine, but it's not, that's part of the fucking engine. I have military soak up pads. You guys don't. <laughs> if you do, good on you. So what these soak up pads are, dude, like look how fast it soaks it up. This is made for oil only. These type. So I just screwed up. Big time. <laughs> Fuck. This really sucks. Well, I'll uh, get on this and uh, clean that up.